Well, hello there, boys and girls, friends and neighbors, toy lovers. Welcome to Richard's Toy Room once again. Also known as Migos and More on Facebook. I have another interesting one for you here today. Probably something you've never seen, maybe even never heard of. You're probably looking at this box and going, hmm, I can see it says General Mills on it. I can see it looks like it's pretty old. It doesn't have a zip code on it. I wonder what it could be. Well, before I open the box, I'll show you what it looks like. This is the original shipping container that this little item came in. It was from General Mills, which is known for cereal for the most part. And that is a clue to what this is originally from. It is from 1962. And I will show you that. You probably all recognize Trick Cereal. Now, if you look really close here, you can see... They were giving away, in 1962, a free U-Haul plastic trailer. And on the back of the box, you could cut out three different trailer bodies to put on the plastic trailer. Here is a copy of that. I don't know if this is actual size or not. Um, I could find very, very little information on this online. I did a lot of searching, googling. Um, what you're seeing right now is the best that I could come up with. Um, this is really kind of hard to read because it's not high resolution uh, picture that I that I found. None of them were, but it's the best I could do. Um, this is the trailer that you actually got uh, free in the tricks cereal and then you would cut out these on the back of the cardboard box and you could make three different trailers uh, cardboard trailer bodies to place onto that box so you're probably wondering oh so what it's just a stupid plastic trailer in that cardboard box that Richard's showing me oh sir you are incorrect let me show you what was on the back of a Cheerios box Feast your eyes. 1962 Studebaker Lark Daytona. Only 10 cents plus two box tops. Similar kits sell for 49 cents. It was produced by the Hawk Model Company. Be sure to use the order blank on the side panel. Watch it wind it up. Watch it go. And now does this look familiar? How about that? U-Haul. U-Haul trailer. What this was, was in the box of tricks. You got the trailer. You made the trailer. And then you sent away with 10 cents and two box tops from Cheerios, Jets, Frostios, or Cocoa Puffs. Oddly not tricks for some reason. And then what you got was what's in this box, a Studebaker model kit. I'll empty this box out and I'll show you what's in it. Now here's the box open from the underneath. I don't think this is the original plastic bag. I think this is just what was in or what the uh, seller put it in that I bought it uh, on eBay. But everything is here. There is exactly one piece missing and it's nothing critical I'll show you when I get to that point make sure all the pieces are out of here what's what's actually missing is one of these little rubber bands which is so insignificant it's not even worth mentioning to be honest with you because to be honest with you I'm surprised these even still have any elasticity after almost 55 years so you would have had to replace those 
most likely anyway if you'd have got this kit. But for some reason in this kit, they're almost still like new. So it must have been in a really climate controlled area for all that time. Now, the only thing that sucks about this, well to me anyway, is it's 1 32nd scale. And I really only like 1 25th scale models, but this was so cheap, it was hidden, it was um, misspelled, so I got it for one bid really cheap. And I don't really think, even though I got it so cheap, I don't think I'm going to build it because it's kind of rare from what I can tell and it'd just be ashamed after all this time to, to put it together, uh, I think. That's just how I am. Um, but anyway, uh, let me lay all these parts out. I'll show, you, uh, <clears throat> I'll show you the paperwork that came with it and um, I'll compare it to a 125th scale model so you can get a better idea of how big it is if you're familiar with 125th scale models. Okay, so you're looking at all the pieces in the kit right here. Um, like I said, everything's here if, except for one of these little rubber bands, which is what goes around the uh, each wheel to give it some friction when you wind it up. The rubber band, I'll show you on the directions here. Well, first, um, I'll show you this letter that came with it from General Mills, Executive Offices. Dear friend, Thank you for your order for the enclosed Lark Daytona kit. All the things you need to build a scale model of this car are included, except the glue. Now, on the uh, original ad, it said the glue was included. Uh, the recommended glue mentioned in the instructions and advertising came in capsule form. Our first concern is the well-being of those who use our products and premiums. We have come to the conclusion that in spite of our warning, a few youngsters might forget that the very small capsule is not candy or a pill. In other words, the beginning of when kids were stupid and had to be protected. <laughs> As large amounts of this glue taken internally could induce sickness, we have decided to discontinue it in the kits. We feel there is far less danger of swallowing a large tube than the small capsule. The glue was intended as a convenience, but perhaps you already have some. Handicraft glue on hand. Millions and millions of these tubes are sold annually to hobbyists and those of us who mend things around the house. If you are in doubt as to the type of glue to use, we suggest you contact your local hobby shop. We hope you will not mind the omission of this glue from your kit. If this is not satisfactory and you want to have your money refunded, 10 cents, Please send your complete kit to General Mills and we will refund your 10 cents plus the cost of postage. Which, what was it at that time? Maybe 6 cents? Best wishes for a great deal of enjoyment in assembling and playing with this scale model car. Sincerely, General Mills. And then it came with the instructions. And it doesn't say anything on here about being a Hawk model kit, I don't think. Um... I'm not sure where, how somebody determined that. Maybe it's just somebody that knew what uh, they were doing. But everything I've seen this refers to it being a Hawk model. Oh, there, right there. Hawk model company. Okay, never mind. Um, so it, it's a very primitive type kit. I mean, as you can see from the instruction, I mean, you have to glue all these separate pieces together. I never really liked these kind of kits anyway. These very uh, primitive 1950s type plastic kits. They just never really seem to go together that well. They never really look that well. Plus the fact, like I said, that I don't really care for 132nd scale models to begin with. Um, I only kind of bought it because I knew it was kind of rare and it was really cheap. And I like classic cars like Studebakers and things like that. And um, here, see, here's the trailer. Your, your Trix trailer. You can hook it on the back there. I had at one point thought about using some scotch tape and, uh, you know, mocking it up just to get an idea of what it would look like, um, where I could just pull the tape up and, and uh, take it back apart, but I was just like, nah, I'll just leave it. I'll just show a video of it. See, here's all the mechanism works. You put all these little gears and hooks and doodads together into the drivetrain, put the wheels on, you push the other one in here you stretch the rubber band and then you just take the car and you pull it back and I'm assuming you just let it go and it boom, 
travels along. Kind of ingenious in a way, but I'm sure that probably wasn't very sturdy, even though it was glued together. Probably a few plays and this thing was toast. But um, that's probably another reason why not too many of them exist. Uh, anyway, so here's all the pieces you get, as you can see. Everything's here, again, except for one rubber band. This is the convertible, not the hard top. Here's the, the boot for the hard top. It doesn't give me a, a, a top for it, so... All the, for lack of a better word, chrome parts are still on the tree, although there's the head, or the windshield frame, and uh, this uh, front or rear bumper is actually just about to fall off. They're getting pretty loose. Um, not that that's going to make much difference. It's not like everything else is on the tree. It's, it's just, uh, it is what it is. The most important part is that everything's there. And um, so, anyway, it's a pretty cool little kit. Here's where the little hook goes out the back. You can hook the trailer on. It's actually nicely detailed for such a small kit. I was kind of surprised. I, I was, that's why I was kind of tempted to, at one point, to build it. It would be cool. If it was 125th scale, I don't know. I might, I might actually have been tempted to... A little bit more tempted to put it together but as for now the way it is I'll just enjoy it in the package keep it as a survivor here's the hood dashboard I mean they really did a pretty good job for such a small kit So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's uh, something that you've never seen before. I invite you to join me again when I dig out some more interesting items to show you and share with you. It's the General Mills 1962 Lark Daytona Kit.